Welcome back. Here we are in layout. And I'm going to show you how to create your own office sheet sets with all the smart time saving features that layout provides. In this lesson, I've included a sample generic title sheet that I've created for you. You'll find it in the download section of this lesson. If you haven't already, please download it now and then open it up in layout so that we can have a look at it. Okay. So if we look at this template that I've given you, this is a schematic design set so you'll notice that there are a number of pages already set up title sheet site plan floor plans elevations etc you'll also note that each sheet has a title block set up with placeholder text for project description project number date scale etc all pretty standard stuff okay let's also have a look at the layers that have been set up for you we've got three layers over here on in the layers dialog which is one called title blocks viewports and page notes alongside these layers you'll notice a little icon these have a single page and this has a multiple page icon what this indicates is that the the layer title block is actually a shared layer so everything that's on this layer appears on every single page so we want our title block to be on every single page in the same location so we have it on a shared layer. The viewports are obviously going to be specific to each page. So they're on their own layer and the page notes will be specific to each page. It's easy to toggle um, whether this is a shared layer or not, just be, by clicking on this icon here. And you'll notice that the icon changes and I can change it back. The title sheet itself is a group just like you would find in SketchUp. And if I click on it, you'll notice that it's highlighted in red because it's on a shared layer. If I click on this drawing tag over here, that's blue because it's on the viewports layer. It should be on the page notes layer. Let's move that. If we right click, move to layer page notes. Okay. But it's on only on that instance is only on this page because each page will have a different drawing tag. The shared layer feature is really useful, especially for things like title sheets. Um, just simply changing a revision or changing a project name or something which is repeated on every sheet. Once you get into large projects, this can really save you time compared to something like AutoCAD where you've got to manually do it on each one. Okay, I want to also talk about auto text. You notice that each of these pages on the right has different names assigned to it. And you'll notice that where it says drawing title, the name also corresponds. If we go ahead and change the name of this drawing, let's just call it sections. You'll see that that automatically updates on the drawing sheet. If we also have a look at my page numbering system, I know we all do this slightly differently, but here I've got A as a prefix to indicate that it's part of an architectural set. And this is the 100 series because it's the schematic drawings. We'll talk about this more later. But what I wanted to show you is that if I rearrange the order of the pages over here, so if I take 3D views, for example, and move them up behind title sheet, you'll see that the drawing number automatically updates corresponding to the order that these pages are set up over here. This is all because of auto text. So if we go to our title sheet group, which is this. We can open it up by double clicking. Okay. And then if we also double click one of these text items in here, so for example, we click on the drawing title, you'll see that it's populated with this data tag, which says page name. This is the data tag that tells layout to pick up the names from the pages dialog opposite on the right hand side. If we look at the page number, double click that, you'll see I've got my A for architectural, my one for 100 series, and then a data tag which says page number. This again takes the information from the number of the page and populates it automatically. These auto text items are great time savers and you can find a full list of them by going up here to file, document setup. And if we go to auto text, here they all are.
You can also set up your own auto text tags just by clicking the plus icon here. And I like to use a custom text. So for example, client name. Okay, and if we added, say, for example, Mr. and Mrs. Jones into, the, into that data field, close this. If I now double click my title block and open where it says client name, I can select that text and go to text, insert auto text, client name. And you'll see it is now filled in with the data from the auto text field. Let's also have a look back at the numbering system. So you'll see here, once I go to page numbering, there's a number of different options you can change. I've wanted mine to start at zero so that the first page is 100. And I also want it to start the first page. You can choose if you want to start the second page, etc. You can also choose the style of the numbers. I went for this 010203 so that I had a three digit uh, drawing reference, but it's entirely up to you. These are really customizable, but they can be really, really useful. Okay. In the next lesson, let's look at how to create your own custom title blocks in layout. See you there.